Hello, this is Ryan Krause, and I am presenting how I use Arduino microcontrollers for real-time data acquisition and feedback control. I'm also presenting a very simple plant that I use in a junior-level first course in dynamic systems and control. The system is low-cost, completely portable, and at least mildly challenging with somewhat interesting dynamics. Um, I can get six different experimental activities out of this system, and it costs less than $100. Um, I can run uh, real-time experimental tests completely from the Arduino serial monitor, and then we could copy and paste data from the serial monitor into a CSV file, and I can run these tests at at least 250 hertz. Um, I'd like to highlight two aspects to what I'm doing that I think are novel. One is that we can use Python to automate the testing and make it easier to just run tests and immediately see the plotted results. And then I can also use the delay microseconds approach instead of a timer ISR to make it easier for students to understand what's going on. Uh, Arduino timer ISRs are very accurate, very powerful, but there's just a lot of weird variables you have to set with built-in complicated names that are difficult to understand, and so students just find that a little bit intimidating. Uh, my approach instead is at the top of the loop to get the current time using the micros function, and when you get to the bottom of the loop, figure out how long you need to delay to make sure that the next pass through the loop starts when you want it to start, in our case, four milliseconds after the previous one, and I'll show the accuracy of that in just a minute. As I mentioned, I can run tests entirely using the Arduino serial monitor. For example, here's my motor over here, and I could say I want to run a proportional control test. I want to stop at 200 counts, encoder counts, and I want to use a KP of 10. The test runs, the data prints to the serial monitor, that could then be copied and pasted into a CSV file for further analysis. And if students didn't want to learn how to automate this process, that would be enough for them to run tests and compare it to their simulations or whatever. But if they are willing to learn how to do this, then I've written some code to uh, facilitate connecting to the serial monitor via Python, and I can now read that same menu and do the inverse deadband calibration. And I'm ready to run an open loop test, for example, where I've specified the amplitude and width of that pulse. The test runs, and the data is immediately printed to... Uh, my Python notebook. I can then, uh, if I use that to do maybe some kind of system identification on the transfer function of my plant, I'm ready to start doing some proportional control tests, for example. And if you're paying super close attention, you can see a little bit of overshoot, and then it comes back. And we could further just keep investigating if we were trying to use this as part of a root locus assignment or something. How does changing KP affect the step response of the system? And where do we think the poles are as a function of KP? And so on. And we can see that we've got less damping and that's the kind of things you'd expect. As I mentioned, um, I think the DT is pretty accurate. The very first time through the loop, for some reason, it takes a little bit longer, and so it's off by about 5% of our 4 millisecond desired step time. The rest of the time, it's pretty close. Um, and again, you can certainly get it more accurate by switching over to timer ISRs, and it wouldn't take that much, but the students would have to understand all of those settings. From there, I could potentially jump to PD testing, for example, if I'm trying to get to a better control design that's both fast and has minimal overshoot. And we can see those results. And then from there, once students have a foundation of how to do this basic approach for a simple system and a fairly simple uh, control approach, they could move on to more complicated plants or more complicated control algorithms or whatever. Thanks.